At first glance, the iPhone 8 is strikingly similar to the iPhone 7, but with a shiny new glass back, wireless charging, and a souped up A11 Bionic processor, this might prove to be a little bit more than a spec bump 7. But we all know that the best upgrades are on the inside of the phone, so I'm gonna grab my ProTech, open it up, and find out. So it's possible that the new glass design would have changed the opening procedure for the iPhone 8, but I've already taken out the panel lobes and applied some heat, and it looks like I should only need the eye slack to get inside. And I'm in, but before I can completely detach the display, I need to free the cable bracket that's guarding the battery connector, and there's no tri-points. We're used to seeing tri-points um, in the iPhone 7, and now we're met with just Phillips triple zero screws, which is great for repairability because it's one less required driver. So the 8's got a 4.7 inch Retina HD display with a resolution of 1334 by 750 and a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. It's also got True Tone technology now, which uses ambient light sensors to sense the light in your environment, and then it changes the white point and brightness accordingly so it's easier for you to see what's on your screen. The iPhone 8's battery now comes with four smaller adhesive pull strips instead of two full length ones, which should be more helpful to get the battery out in theory, but if you're like me and you break them in the process, you might have to resort to prying the battery out yourself. For a new generation of iPhone, you think they would have considered longer battery life. The iPhone 8's powerhouse will deliver up to 6.96 watt hours of energy, which is similar to the iPhone 7, but a whole 40% less impressive than the 11.55 watt hour battery in the Galaxy S8. And as we pluck out the cameras, we're hit with a little more iPhone 7 deja vu. The iPhone 8 has the same f1.8 six element lens that we saw on the iPhone 7, but everything else about the camera is new and improved. The 8 sensor is bigger than the 7's, but it specs the same 12 megapixel resolution. This means the individual pixels are larger, letting in more light, improving colors, and decreasing noise. After snatching out the Taptic engine, we had to pull out way too many screws and tiny brackets before being able to free the logic board. Thanks to our friends at Tech Insights, we've got the full chip ID waiting for you over on the teardown. So we took out the speaker and the lightning connector next, which showed the same signs of waterproofing that we saw on the iPhone 7, which left us with the big black sticker. The Qi wireless charging coil uses an oscillating magnetic field to generate an alternating current. The alternating current is then converted to direct current, which is the magic juice that fuels the battery. The magic Qi coil is stuck to a reinforcement panel that's thoroughly glued to the back glass. We don't know what Apple means by durable glass, but if yours gets cracked, you're in for a complete disassembly in order to replace it. With our tour of the iPhone 8 coming to an end, it's time to face the music. The iPhone 8 scored a 6 out of 10 on our repairability scale, and here's why. What we liked were the two most commonly replaced components, display and battery, remain straightforward to access with the proper knowledge and tools. The addition of wireless charging means less strain on your lightning port, which is a common point of failure. Water and dust seals complicate repair, but make the need for difficult liquid damage repairs less likely. The battery connector once again sports common Philips JIS fasteners, but you'll still need up to four different driver types for many repairs. And what we didn't like, the durability of the glass back remains to be seen, but replacements are likely to be very difficult. And finally, the iPhone's lower components once readily removed now lie trapped under fussy combinations of brackets and delicately folded flex cables. That's all for this teardown, but there are so many more coming your way. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at iFixit, and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit. See you soon.